welcome 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 everybody to the stream uh, a little tired this morning again uh, Alexa woke me up and uh, I, I ignored her and fell asleep again so here I am <laughs> a little bit bleary eyed and ready to go for a sea of thieves rush but it's going to be a good one we're going to see what uh, what comes our way um, the rules of sea of thieves rush is boots in the sand and then uh, find something to hand in and get it back and hand it in and sounds easy and sometimes it can be um, other times it can be a little bit of a, a time crunch and uh, you can run into things that really stymie you or you can make bad decisions so it's a good way of being a better pirate and pushing yourself and if you're somebody that doesn't have a crew to play with or likes doing the solo but just wants a little bit more um, adrenaline rush to the game and, and uh, doesn't like the old arena setup right now um, then this could be for you. Yeah. I uh, I personally like it. It's a, a nice little thing to do on the stream every morning before work. It's just that half an hour window that I get to uh, to kind of uh, shake things up and be uh, be a little bit more ready to move into my work day. So I've set the timer. We got 24 minutes on the clock because it's loading in. And uh, the rules are when we load in, we run straight to the ship and out of the outpost to an island uh, without looking at the cloud situation um, and uh, yeah sometimes you get surprised you know the cloud if it's not up you can end up uh, getting crackened and dealing with the kraken I've become very good at it I can usually get out of a kraken situation within a few minutes but it can uh, cut into my my rush time and actually uh, <laughs> actually stop me from completing the rush of course I uh, rarely sink from Kraken on a sloop. It's just knowing what to do to uh, to avoid it and uh, not getting sucked up in the uh, in the Kraken's mouth because that really can be the uh, the end of it all if that happens. But we'll see how it goes. It's uh, almost loaded in. We're going to have about 24 minutes on the clock when we get into the game. Here we go. So let's click in here and get out of here. Looks like we've got a storm close by. Wonderful. Let's see if we can avoid that. Uh, yep. Grab the ladder. Up the anchor. Was uh, playing a new game that I found on Steam called um, New Frontier or New Frontiers. And uh, it's a Wild West game and it looks really good. Um, it's kind of a Wild West survival PvP game. It's open world. Um, good graphics, good feel to it. Obviously has some finessing. It's pre-alpha. So it has a little finessing to do. But there uh, should be some videos coming up soon. Uh, I got some content. I just I think what I'm going to do is edit it together and just kind of give everybody a preview of what the game contains. But uh, yeah, go check it out on Steam. It's uh, free to play. It's like early alpha, so they need people to give feedback. So if you're going to play, um, be be one of these people that gives feedback and makes the game great. Um, don't just play it and say, oh, this is rubbish, I don't like it. Um, because it's pre-alpha, it's not going to be fantastic. Like the horse movement, things like that, are just, they're a little bit, they eh, need a bit of work, you know. Um, there's no animals in the wilderness that I found anyway um, in pre-alpha so they're coming because you can hear them you just can't see them and apparently there's like hunting and stuff like uh, like you get in Red Dead there's there's quite a few mechanics that are, are kind of Red Dead related but um, it's uh, it's got a few surprises too you're like oh this this looks like the Wild West feels like the Wild West but then little things you see around the place you're like doesn't really seem like it could be the Wild West as we would have known it historically. Yeah, so it, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, so that's called New Frontiers and it's on Steam. So we're getting there. There's a skelly ship that was hiding behind that island. I didn't see it when I set out, so maybe it spawned in just as we got close. Or it came in from the distance out of the mist. Hmm. I've got a headwind coming. Oh, that makes it so slow. I haven't seen any Reaper's chest um, things in the air. 
Somebody said they found two Reaper's chests on one ship. Which I thought was kind of fantastical. We have two skellies holding barrels. Now, I know you can harpoon these barrels now, but can you harpoon them right out of the hands of skellies? I don't know. I'm going to try. If I was any good at harpooning, I was. Of course he moves. Give me that barrel. Yes, I can. Look at that. Oh, and then I fall off the ship. That was clever. And it doesn't kill the skelly either. So I can steal the barrels with my harpoon. Yoink! Thank you! Give me those and I'll come kill you. So they were barrel wood. So that means that the the mega keg skellies that you can run into in the um, in arena quests, you can yoink the mega quests, the mega quests, the mega kegs right out of their hands. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything else here that I really can use, and that storm's got me nervous. Having some barrels on the ship like that. There's chickens, but I'm not going to waste my time chasing a chicken around. Too much time wasted in a rush chasing animals. So let's see if I can take in a second island. I've got 18 minutes. Might be able to do a second island. Uh, just need to know where to go. Over there? Yeah, sure. Oh, I anchored down, right. And sails are down. I need to set this up before I leave. All these things take time, and that's one thing you need to think about. This is your time. Alright, scrape my butt on the floor. Sounds terrible, I know, but... Am I past yet? Yes, down. Down. Let's go. Am I still in a headwind? Oh, there's a shiny now. Uh, up sails. No, no, I'm not up in sails. Forget it. You are done, shiny. You are done. What are you, anyway? Should be a box of secrets or something. There's some kind of crate. Meh. Let's do that island in front. I'll turn my sails, get the speed. I'm gonna run out of time if I don't. 17 minutes on the clock, so we're still doing good. Oh my goodness, here we go. Kraken, and I've got gunpowder barrels on the deck. Uh, I think I can pretty much say game over on this one. Let's just do this and see what happens. Yay! I had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I've got 16 minutes to start a new rush. Wherever I spawn in. Well, I'd have to, I've already got boots in the sand, so wherever I spawn in, I can grab whatever gets whatever's there. Um, hopefully it's not an outpost. But sometimes it's the best way is to just reset and retry. The Kraken would have taken too much time. So this is actually uh, probably a good move on my part.
Double whammy on my boat. That was crazy. Hopefully I end up at another island. I should have sunk by now. It's taken a long time to load in, so I think I probably have, have sunk. It's just waiting for it to finish the sinking process before it spawns me in somewhere else. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hearing music. Maybe I'm at an outpost. Yes, dang it. I'm at the same dang outpost. What the heck? Thought it was a good move. Appears it wasn't a good move. It's like deja vu. <laughs> Let's do it again. This time I'm going a different way. There's the Kraken. Yeah, it can it can stay there. I'm not going that way. I'm gonna do a fort. I don't usually do a fort. So one right there. What's that by the fort? It's that darn rock again. Seems to appear in different places and fool you every time. Makes you think. See, so yeah, this has got a crosswind, so if I go to the fort, grab what I need, turn around, come back, then um, that's it, you know? That's, that's the easy part. There's a few of them. I wonder if I took any of them out with the explosion. I doubt it. No, it looks like a clean, a clean kraken. No missing ones. So I can harpoon barrels out of Skelly's hands. That's pretty cool to know. So this is a pre-dev stream today because the devs are playing multiple tales, I think, as well. So don't forget to check that out. I can bump the beach and not get a hole. Use it as a stop. I might be up to. Be nice to dock here, and then the outpost is just over there. Yeah, I think I'm good. If I weigh in, what have I got in here? I'm looking for things I can carry. Things I can carry and hand in for gold. There's no barrels. Somebody cleared this place out. Maybe it was a skull fort. Nothing in here either. I feel like I've been robbed of everything this morning. Ah, a barrel. Okay, good. Something I can hand in. That's all I need. It's the only one I can find, though. And there is a storm coming, so... It could be I get stymied by the lightning. Oh, this is a tough one this morning. Oh, 
hope you're all doing well on Tuesday. We've got good plans ahead. Tuesdays sometimes are just one of those got to get through it days. Mine's kind of like that, but this helps me. Oh, I'm already anchored. What am I thinking? I'm not thinking. That's the trouble. Dang. So I'm going to have a hole. And I'm heading into the storm. Let's see if we can do this, though. Go fix that hole in a minute. Such a minor little clip. It's probably on the back up here. It's not bringing in much water at all. There it is. One of those holes that you could easily miss and uh, end up in trouble. Go off on an island, start doing something. Come back and your ship's gone or just about to go. And I've had that. And you start bailing and sometimes you save it and sometimes you don't. So the storm is there, I think. But it's not a black storm. It's like a white storm cloud. It's like a heavy fog. But it's not the fog banks that you see rolling across either. So So I'm gonna do it in about eight minutes. I kinda I'm not feeling like I wanna push myself anymore to another one, but See, I'm heading into the storm cloud now. Oh wow! Look, there is a squirrel. Hopefully, that's close. I could, I could go take a look. It's right in the storm, though. Okay, anchoring down. Are you kidding? Did it just blow up my barrel? No, it didn't. It would have broke the mast, right? But now I'm right in the midst of the storm. The bell's ringing. I've got to go see if that chest is, is doable, but I doubt it. There's one in front, too. Not with seven minutes on the clock. Come on, rush complete. Don't get struck by lightning. Don't get struck by lightning. There you go, Grandma. You get struck by lightning. Seven minutes thirty. Got two Reaper's chests showing up that I can see. I'm going to see how close they are. One's they're both pretty close. The one to the north would probably be favorable. Even if I can get it on board of my ship. <coughs> have that as my challenge rather than actually getting it back. Um, but I could do both. Oh, crud. I didn't think that through, did I? Oh, yeah. There we go. The one to the north is closer, but it's the one that's right in the storm. But I'm going to go for it. I think the storm's... By the time I get there, I probably would have moved through the storm. And I'm going to have a good wind for it. And I can keep the ship on target, I think, and <laughs> go repair. Let's see. Where is that hole? The same one, yeah. Things you do for Reaper's chests. Can't even see it now. There it is. It's, wow, I did get thrown off course by the storm. But 
at least it's a target, so in the storm I can force my ship to go that way. This is where Meg shows up. <laughs> yeah. Storm's moving away, which is good, so. I wonder if the rare crew will even attempt to run a reaper's chest whilst doing their tall tale. It's a bit of a risk, but they they might want to. I think it's Pirate Doug who's sailing with them today. I remember seeing something in uh, on the Twitter feed that. Um, Dread Doug, Dread Doug Pirate, or Pirate Doug Dread, or he's really excited anyway to be sitting. <laughs> he's a cool guy. Like, he's uh, quite active on Twitter and uh, in the in the community. So cool that he's uh, getting to sail with a rare crew. I should check my ship. I'm hearing a bit of creaking. It's just water from the rain, I think. So that wasn't bad. I got 3 minutes 50 to snag this, which hopefully is the right one and I'm not delusional. Oh, it's not the one I wanted to go for, but it will do. And I got Morrow's Peak North, so I'm not going to make it. I'm really not going to make it with the time, but I'm going to have a good try. Where's the sails? Let's do that. Oh, there's stuff in the water. Let's see. No, missed it all. It's one shot wonders you get because you're going so fast. <coughs> See, it feels so far away now. It's just a square away. I'm going to be right in the uh, danger zone as far as the volcano goes but I'm just going to have to chance it, right? Not even sure I want to anchor down. Two minutes. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to hand this in. It's going to take me a minute to get there, a minute to dive down. But Let's see if I can at least get my hands on it as part of the rush. That's my next challenge. Is to physically hold the thing. I'll worry about the next thing after that. <laughs> if I ever get that far. See, if I anchor, I'm going to be wasting more time. But if I don't anchor, then... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, it's a tough one. Lots of decisions to make. I'm getting close. When do I start? I'm looking at minute 21. I'll start up in sails now. Because I'm going to have that drift. And I'm going to sword lunge. I'm still way too far out. I'm still way too far out. You dork, not yet. Getting ashes hitting the ship. Did you stop erupting? And okay, now up sails. 
Okay, anchoring down. Turning the ship. Morose is over there, right? Get my hands on this thing, come on. Where is it? Is it in the crow's nest? Sometimes they are. Yeah, it is. So I don't have to go right down. Okay, so I did that part of the rush. I got it in my hands with 25 seconds on the clock. See, there's no way I'm going to hand it in. But, uh... Oh, and I got hit by the volcano. So... Drop it in the water. And rush complete. That's it, everybody. I challenged myself to at least get my paws on the thing. There it is. So somebody can have it. But